So I'm going to just give you uh, several examples that from different types of industries, different parts of the country. So Tasty Catering is a, a catering business outside Chicago. They already had a terrific employee culture, but um, Kevin Walter, one of their owners, will say that your culture is really put to the test when you have a crisis like COVID. So they uh, they have a great culture that is run by the employees, and it's a great story. I can send you a link to some case studies about it, but um, basically it's run by three brothers, and at one point, the younger generation came to the CEO and said, you have to change or we're leaving. And he said, change what? And uh, the new, the younger generation said, the culture needs to be run by the people. Right now, the three brothers contradict each other and the culture needs to belong to us. So they did a whole process of good to great and they created an excellent culture, which I'd love to tell you more about. But during this time, they really had to lean on that culture. So there is a management group that doesn't include the owners and they brought the owners in to talk about what is our emergency action plan. And right away, uh, they had several things they did. Any employees over 60 needed to stay home. Uh, they actually did take a 30% pay cut for the three owners. Everybody else took a 10% pay cut um, and they cut expenses as much as possible. Um, they did, they cleaned the facilities themselves. They did everything themselves so that they uh, could control expenses. They were able to get their PPP loan. And then because things had slowed down dramatically, um, they went ahead and cleaned all their picnic tables, all of their grills. They did all that seasonal cleaning. Um, and it was right around St. Patrick's Day and they, they serve a lot of businesses. So they um, were getting ready to bring this taste of St. Patrick's Day to a lot of businesses, but it's all in you know bulk and it wasn't gonna work under COVID, but an employee, not the owners, an employee quickly said, we're gonna have to do individual box lunches. And she was not authorized to just make that happen. She didn't have to consult with a lot of people. So right away on St. Patrick's Day, they had individually box lunches and that's what they've done ever since. So having that culture where employees could think like, how can we make this work? Instead of just canceling it, they found a way to do it. Um, and then everybody, they're transparent. Everybody knew, you know, this is our plan. This is the revenue we're shooting for. We're not gonna make it. This is the revenue we're getting. Let's find ways to increase our revenue. So they actually played what's called a mini game where drivers, as they were delivering box lunches to businesses, Part of their job was to look around and see if there were facilities that had a lot of cars in the parking lot. So they knew that those businesses did not have their people at home. They were actually in the plant. So then they'd pass over the address and the sales folks would call, cold call and say, hey, you know, it's gonna be a lot safer if we bring you box lunches for your people rather than having them go out to fast food. And so they got a lot of new business that way. So again, they're engaging every single employee to think about how to make this work. Um, they're the ones that originated the wind wall that a lot of other people uh, later adopted. Um, and then, yeah, just utilizing that open book management that they already had. Great. I, uh, two, th two things come to mind. One is, um, as you mentioned, um, when it comes to pay cuts. So it's a very difficult topic, showing that management is going to give, you know, more than the employees. But following that up with a little bit of open book management. So the biz, so employees, you know, you have to bear, bear out everything and show why this is necessary. Because employees sometimes in their own minds think that businesses are so lucrative. I mean, a food business is very slim margins. When you yes. show that we're in the red, everyone will, everyone will pitch in and particularly as opposed to laying off. And then yes. number two, we, Pursuit also has a caterer. Um, and the thing about providing, the new idea of providing box lunches to corporations, that's something now, that's such a viable business line that I think COVID or not, employees love, employers love that. It's a benefit and they get to keep their employees sort of in the, in the building, not wandering, taking long lunch hours and things like that. So yes. something really interesting comes of it, yeah. Yes. Yes, and the other thing is their bakehouse um, got busier. So they were able to provide more of the, the bulk products even when their catering was down.